Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Naveen from UI Brains. So last class we have actually discussed about uh, the fetch API with uh, REST API, right? The fetch with REST API we have seen. It means we have uh, we have discussed how to make uh, get request, post, put, and delete requests with a normal uh, application with REST API. So now we are moving on to the next concept is employee portal. So this application we have already finished with a normal Ajax using XML HTTP request. But now uh, we also learn the fetch API. So another way. So using that fetch API. So let's make the same example again, the employee portal. So here we're going to apply uh, create, read, update, delete and uh, uh, all this operations of employee record um, using the fetch API. So first let's start with the design and then we'll start using the our custom uh, api which you have designed using fetch so so let's start here uh, let me go back to here webstorm and uh, let me copy employee portal of previous example copy the folder number three i paste it and i'll change the number to 06 uh, fetch underscore employee portal click on ok fine and this uh, app.js we don't need it delete and uh, index.html you have to modify something that is employee portal using fetch and this also employee portal using fetch so let's check the website first uh, go to fetch api ok fine so we got the design and uh, the model also opening okay looks good fine and uh, now so design we don't need to change anything it's it's exactly same design which you have done already in uh, ajax with uh, uh, employee portal uh, only thing we have to modify is the backend api the switch so app.js is empty and the brain.http.js it was uh, the plain ajax so i need this to be fetch so I'll delete this brain HTTP and uh, I will get that from our previous example fetch API brain HTTP. Let me copy that and paste it over here. Okay, so this is what are because we are using a fetch here. Okay, so fetch URL and response and all this. Okay, so this is perfect. We are using a fetch and let me import this to the uh, app.js and start doing application fine so now setup is ready html is ready ip api is ready and app.js we're gonna start now so first of all and also i need to have a server connection ready so for server connection i have already started the server express server which is running on 3000 port number i have opened that in a browser yes express server also ready so let's start so the very first thing here is whenever the page loads i need to fetch data i need to read the entire data from this particular url and display here so how to fetch data from external url is uh, we have an event called dom content loaded so back to our uh, app.js so let's make it here um, let's make uh, like this content uh, loaded so you can write like this window object dot add event listener here dom content loaded comma one function you get the events okay so whenever the page is loaded okay so i can write like this when the page is loaded completely okay so here I call a function called fetch employees. Okay, fine. And here I'll make a get request. So let me copy this and let's fetch API. I mean fetch employees is equal to an arrow function. So here I have to make a URL. So let's URL is equal to backtick. Uh, you can write a server URL here or else you can make directly URL access. But let's make a server URL constant server url is equal to 
um, what was that uh, http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 uh, slash api so this is our server url so using that let's make our url so server url slash employees okay so this is for a get request and uh, fine but i need to import the brain http here so let's make import brain http from api and let's make dot js fine so let's start using the brain http to fetch data so what i do is brain http dot get because it was uh, fetch api it returns a promise normal static function so you can just call directly using a class name dot get and here you have to provide the url and as this returns a promise so you have to call like uh, dot then and dot catch okay so inside uh, i'll write uh, a function to which handles then and another function for reject that is in the catch so here you will get actually the data so let's make let users is equal to the data and let me do a console log of user actually it's not users let's make it as employees okay copy that and paste it fine so what it does is it will fetch the employees and display on a console log and also if we have any error so let's make uh, console dot error of error so let's check so whenever the page loads it will display on the console.log all the employees which is coming from a the server url so let's go back to here let me inspect and console okay you got an array an array of uh, two employees like this and these employees i want to uh, loop it and display it on a table uh, on this table body so what i do is i'll just make let uh, employee rows is equal to uh, backtick uh, this empty string it is so for let employee of employees okay so what you do is uh, employee rows plus is equal to backtick and i'm gonna make a table row slash table row So here I'll make a TD. So first we need to have an ID, first name, last name, email, gender, IP address, and actions. Okay. Uh, so first of all, here is a employee dot ID. Let's make other fields. Employee dot first name, and this is employee dot last name, and uh, employee dot uh, email and uh, employee dot gender and final one employee dot ip address okay and we have another final one uh, we need to make some actions this action contains two buttons one is update and delete so here let's make let's make a proper alignments so here i'll make a button button with the class called btn btn minus uh, secondary and i need btn minus sm and also uh, uh, update is my custom class and then update is the button next another one so btn minus danger and this is gonna be the delete and this is also delete okay so you have two buttons uh, fine so this is what actually I wanted to make and this employee rows I want to add to the table body so table body we have an ID is uh, let me check where was table body yeah table minus body so back to here after you finish off with the for loop so document dot query selector of hash uh, table body table minus body dot inner html is equal to uh, employee rows okay fine so whenever the page loads it will fetch data from a server and display on a table so now let's check yes i got the data 
from the server fine looks good and uh, one more thing i just want to make a margin top for these buttons i think you can write uh, margin top zero here also margin top zero so just to make it uh, in the same row okay so adjust it properly fine so we have made a fetch api i mean fetch data so now what i do is when i click on add employee it opens the model right and here uh, when i fill in all the details and click on this button called add employee it has to create a new employee it's called as a post request so when this form gets submitted so where is this form is this is actually a uh, add employee model so let me go and check the add employee model in html so when i go to html uh, here i have add employee model and this is having a form called add employee form so let me have a submit on add employee form so copy the id so here add employee form okay so let's add employee form is equal to uh, document dot uh, query selector of hash research and uh, what you have to do is uh, add form dot add event listener of click sorry uh, it's a submit event comma one function all right uh, add employee form dot add event listener of submit so whenever the form submits uh, first of all i will make e dot prevent default so this actually stops uh, to prevent auto form submission so this prevents the auto form submission and also i want to close the model so when i click on this add employee i want to close the model okay so what i do is um let me get the model id uh, is this one so let me use the model uh, dollar this is actually a little uh, jquery snippet hash model dot model uh, you can make hide so this will close the model okay so that's one and then uh, now i need to fetch each and every data from the fields so let's create let's employee is equal to uh, i need first name so how to get a first name is uh, that element dot value that's add first name dot value uh, back to here so document dot query selector of hash add employee dot value next so last name so this is add uh, last name dot value and actually it's 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 an object so let's make a comma and uh, first name last name email so i think it's it's add minus email dot value and uh, gender so gender add minus gender dot value and finally the ip address is gonna be ip minus address dot value so i can fetch the employee object from this particular form and i need to send it as a uh, using fetch api i need to send it to the server so for this we need to have a server url so let's uh, url is equal to let's make a, a server url slash uh, employees okay fine so now let's call uh, our fetch api so that's brain http dot post so this post requests two things url and data so url is going to be this one and data is going to be the employee okay so this returns a promise again so dot then dot uh, catch fine and for dot then you have one callback function and dot catch is also having a is also having callback function fine uh, so here you get actually data so as of now let's make a console dot log of data and then uh, uh, so once an employee has been posted we have to display the employees back on the screen 
so let's make fetch employees function call and if any error let's make a normal uh, console dodge error of error okay looks good fine and uh, so let me um, check this out okay uh, so when I click on add employee I got the first name so let's make Rajan Jain uh, so Rajan H gmail.com and gender mail and uh, 127.0.0.1 so click on add employee see what happens uh, one employee record has been created over here so now add employee also works perfect and thing is uh, when I click on add employee again but the data is still there I want to clear out these fields so how to clear out the fields is um, so once this is done finally you can make clear uh, form fields clear form fields so is this a uh, some other function let's create and clear all, all the fields so let's clear form fields is equal to an arrow function so here I have to clear all the fields so uh, let's uh, copy them I paste it and uh, how to clear it just make them its value to be a empty so is equal to an empty uh, sorry it's empty string like this and we don't need this one this one it's not required yeah so let's make all the fields to be uh, all the values to be empty fine so this does making all the input field values to be uh, empty fine so it will works fine so we have made now uh, read operation fetch uh, I mean uh, get operation and post request we have finished and only thing is update and delete is pending so let's finish off this update and delete in the next video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you